Hey guys, my name is Jake Summerauer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel if this is your first time, which is probably the case given uh, this is only my second video on here. Um, what I want to do today is uh, a drawing in ink. Ink's a really fun medium. You get some nice bold blacks and, and nice kind of pop coming off the, the paper. Um, but I haven't used it in about eight months or so. I participated in last, uh, last year's Inktober and got a little burnt out on it. 31 drawings in 31 days took, it, took its toll. And uh, so it's been a while since I, I got back into the ink pens a little bit. But uh, in brainstorming stuff and different projects to do that would be cool on the channel, I thought ink would be a really cool one to, to try out. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. The idea for this piece fell into place pretty quickly. I went from ink to Raven to Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, so we're going to do a little Poe inspired piece today. I wanted to start off by drawing a couple ravens from a direct reference just to get an idea of general anatomy and some of the forms that I needed to be using. So I'm sketching out three different poses here really quick just to get an idea of some of the features that I want to make sure that I incorporate in my final piece. We're gonna get right into the main sketch. I did do a small thumbnail for this piece in the bottom right corner of my sketchbook, but during the recording process, the camera drifted so far up that it was basically cut off entirely by the end of the video. So after realigning the video and trying to lock everything down a little bit, just went straight into this sketch here. Just kind of feeling out the, the main shape, following the thumbnail a little bit, and then just kind of figuring out the rest. So it's getting a little late, I'm a little tired, it's a long day at work, so I'm going to kind of sit back, relax a little bit, enjoy a little uh, Ben and Jerry's, and get back at this thing first thing tomorrow. Alright, um, so coming back to this now, not 100% thrilled with it, I might do a little, so uh, a couple tweaks to the sketch before we start inking, but... Uh, Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna dive in. I want to be a little stylized with this. I've got, I think primarily I'm gonna be using some some brush markers today. I think uh, this is gonna be my main one. This uh, Pigma BB brush marker. I've also got a, like a Faber Castell uh, pit artist pen. That's really um, it's a brush marker as well, but it's really soft. Uh, so it'd be good for covering some really broad areas. I just don't have the control with this one like I do uh, with this Pigma, even though I haven't really used this one too much. Um, I also have a Micron. Don't really want to rely too heavily on this because I want it to kind of be a little loose and stylized looking, but it's there if you need it. Um, with that said, I'm going to clean up this sketch, then erase everything and get going. So I lightly erase everything just to give myself a loose guideline to follow while I'm inking and then I go in with the brush pen. I'm not going to lie, I was definitely nervous to start inking this piece and that's why it sat for as long as it did, but I wanted to make sure I had a good grasp of what I was going to leave in highlight and what I was going to have in full shadow. If this were a more detailed drawing, maybe I go in and refine my initial sketch a little bit more just to make sure I'm kind of blocking out where those full blacks and highlights are going to be but for this piece I felt comfortable enough after getting a few more sketches in to dive in and get going.
for some missing footage in three, two, one. And you'll notice that the inkwell and part of the feather just appeared. Small recording error on my end where I think I double tapped the record button on my camera. Still working out the kinks on this whole filming thing. So after finishing up with the brush pen, I went over the whole piece with the Micron and a white gel pen to add a little bit of hatching to give the piece a, a little bit more detail and then refine some of the shadows and highlighted areas to the point where I was really comfortable with them. At this point I was really happy with the piece, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I wanted to add a little bit more to really make this stylized feel of this drawing pop. So I took a pause, took a couple pictures so that I had the final piece in this state if I, if I wanted to go back to it and then decided to add a couple elements that I think really set off the final piece really well. Thanks for watching. I'm really happy with how this project turned out, but let me know what you think in terms of whether you liked it better before or after I added the extra little details at the end. I looked back at some of the old pictures of it and I don't know, I kind of like it both ways. So uh, really interested to hear what you guys think. Um, if you like the video as a whole, please be sure to like and subscribe. That helps me out tremendously uh, to get this whole thing started and looking forward to coming up with some, some more content and some cool videos in the future. Um, so if you want to see those, absolutely subscribe. If you want to see what I'm doing in the meantime, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll drop my handle here at the bottom of the screen. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.